Honorable leadership is about living up to duty. When we're given a promotion and put into a position of greater formal leadership responsibility, that that is often because we've done well at something and our potential has been positively evaluated. So if you have a set of different people and some of them are seen as having greater potential than others, perhaps they've been more accomplished than others, then you would expect uh, them to be put into a position of responsibility and leadership. But if you think about it, that causes all of us to see that promotion as a reward, not as a duty. Compare that to a world where we see a promotion or other kind of granting of leadership responsibility as a very solemn duty that we have been asked to live up to. When we face leadership responsibilities, we're asked to do things that are difficult. We're asked to resolve tensions that will require trade-offs, that will require that we make tough decisions. And whenever we do that, we are being challenged to live up to the duty of our office. There are exceptional leaders who perhaps didn't go and take 100% market share or add a billion dollars of revenue, but day in and day out, were willing to confront and deal with the most difficult situations. And I know right now you can think of such leaders. I challenge you to be such a leader. Transform your approach to leadership excellence and development. Learn more about SEP, the Stanford Executive Program.